The labor was difficult because Samuel was sunny side up and he was kind of limp and blue at the time. And so they were working on him. And meanwhile, I felt like things were getting darker. And I asked the doctor, you know, I said, I can't breathe, I need more air. And then they pushed on my tummy and there was some blood and then they pushed again and it was more blood and it just wouldn't seem to stop. So I just looked at Dr. Mora and said, knock me out and let me live. And with all the blood loss, they had diagnosed and they, they called it DIC. And that basically means your blood does not clot. Probably about a 95% fatality rate. Texted my little sister who's up on medical and uh, I, I let her know that Donna had DIC. And she shared with me later that the, the acronym for that means death is coming. Um, so we're uh, incredibly thankful that we're able to celebrate life together and to get a chance to raise Samuel together. The nurses did a great job taking care of the little guy. They wrapped him up like a burrito and he was, they revived him first, which is that's the part that Donna didn't get to see is they were giving him oxygen while they were helping her. I'm just really thankful for him. He just is my little battle partner. <laughs> That is off to all the staff at St. Joe's because where the folks at St. Joe shined is when something goes wrong and they knew how to put all that together. So I can't thank them enough for all the training that they had received and just allowing God to work through them and save her life.